Oh, why didn't you just build this off the start? And we're back with Factorio episode number two. Ah, people, let's just jump right into this. Yeah, so we definitely need a significant amount of iron pumping, and we have not got that. Uh, our little mall area here is looking pretty bare. Uh, probably finish getting these inserters rolling. See, we have a decent amount of ore coming in, <clears throat> but we're just not smelting them fast enough. So we can copy this, get this done a couple more lengths. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm out of belts. Let's go get some belts. Look at this. You can just come, grab some belts. It's unreal. Ah. Uh, so I need 24 of those. Oh my goodness, look at that. I just guessed. By, I did that by feel, but we literally have exactly 24 furnaces, uh, which is enough to completely saturate one side of a belt. And just for efficiency purposes, we can do something like this. Uh, get some more insurgers going. More belts. More splitters, more undergrounds. We're going to slot cap this actually one more here. Same with this one. Mm -hmm. Yep. The more we build here, right now, the faster we will get this stuff going. And I'm still fairly concerned about what's over here. Uh, I feel like it would be wise to invest into a couple of turrets just to put over there. So we're going to run along here and grab some of this stuff. I want to make one turret at least. Grab this. Because if I don't, if I'm not prepared and biters come out of nowhere, we're going to have a bad time. Well, I mean, it's going to be a good time because, you know, Factorio. Factorio is by default good time. Mm -hmm. Two more. Ah! All right, we are officially saturated. And I can get rid of this belt and this belt. Put that in there. All right, we're golden. So this here should actually start to pile up. Uh, this is a problem here. We are not putting in or out fast enough. <clears throat> so we definitely need more than that. Same with this. We need to double up our inserters a little bit. Those need to come this way. Mm -hmm. And we should probably actually actually probably just finish that too because it's part of the bottleneck right now finish those finish those uh, definitely need to finish those boop 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 sick <clears throat> this is going good I don't have any assemblers up there being made so I have to make some down here uh, yeah so that's going pretty good. Yeah, uh, these should probably be slot capped just for now. So I just put the slot limit, shift right click, and then if you hover over another chest, you can see the little green box. That means I have that those settings of those in my hand. More inserters. Always need more inserters. More belts. Yeah, see, we're, we're stacking up some belts now. Our iron is dwindling again. Uh, if we look at our power consumption here, this is the power tab. You can press P or click on any power pole and it'll bring this up. Our production is hovering around 60-ish percent. So we're gonna need to expand power very soonly if we wanna continue building stuff. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this. I don't need much. I think that's it. I think that's all I need now. Yeah. And we're gonna make this turrets. Ah, nope, not radar turrets. Yeah, we'll put them at the back. And he's got everything he needs coming. Slot capped. <coughs> good, good. We also need mining drills. Mining drills. And we're going to make some of those in our pocket too. Boop. 
mining drills. And we can continue building this out. Boop, 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 boop. Look at that. I made the perfect amount intentionally, accidentally. Uh, yeah, and our power is like really high. So we're going to double our power really fast here, which means, which means we need one boiler and two more steam engines, which is just basically iron one. And two, two steam engines. <clears throat> Sweet. You never want to go somewhere without at least something in your inventory. We're going to need to set up some ammo production as well. Uh, I can see those biters coming any, any moment now. So we're just going to zip over to the power real fast. Yeah, so we can toss, uh, we can toss these down. Oh, toss, to, to, to toss these down. Mm -hmm. Need a pipe. Make a couple of those. Right, we've effectively doubled our power now. See, now we're at 45%-ish. Uh, we still have some coal in there, not a lot. We should probably just bring this belt down so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, and we can even finish this. We have eight more of these, so we might as well do this as well. Get this slightly saturated. Some more belts in there. Beep, 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 burner inserters. We have none. Make a couple of those. And we're actually going to need to go like this, just to prime a couple. Yeah, we can stop those. Uh, oh, oh, did I have another burner inserter over here? I'm sure I did, right? Yeah, we're going down there anyways. All right. Uh, we can put this right here, sure. And we kind of want this to be prioritized to the right. So this is a priority. Uh, output priority to the right. So it will always put out this side first until it backs up. Only once it backs up will it start going out the top. This has to be here. Bam. All right, we don't got to worry about power anymore. And we're just going to toss this in there. And we don't really need the rest of this, so we'll just run along here like so. Oh, I just wasn't even... Ah, I just picked up some more even. Oh well. Run along the belt. Slap her down quick. Mm-hmm. And the remaining coal, we can just go like that. Give them to those. Alright. Sick. We got some production happening. I like carrying around belts, so I'm going to keep a bunch of belts on me. Insurgers don't ever hurt. Assembly machines. We got a couple of those, and we got our first gun turret. Let's go. All right. We also need to do some ammo, so we're just going to do that right now. Ammo. Right here. We're just going to put it into there. Uh, this is not... We'll just put a slot limit right here for now. And we're going to go to... Ah, oh, we need longies. We don't have any. Do we have any down here? We do not. Oh, because we got to go like this. Boop. Yeah. A long inserter requires a normal inserter. So I didn't have this inserter initially. But now we do. Uh, this guy's building those. Unreal. He's going to get iron eventually. Yeah. We're good. All right. While I'm walking over there, oh, I need iron. Always need iron. It's like a thing. You're always going to need stuff in this game. Always. 12 bullets? Come on. Oh, yeah, we gotta expand this thing. Oops. Yeah, so this is gonna eat some iron, too. That's good, though. Sure. We were, we were a little bit bottlenecked on inserters over there, so now we're golden. Power's doing good. On our way by, we can double this up really fast. And I want to go explore over here, so I'm going to zip over there lightning fast. Yeah, it's not—it's never a good idea to have your pollution cloud exceeding your field of vision here. Because if there's a biter base right here, you could, have a, you could get attacked without even knowing it. So I'm just going around and clearing this out, just so I can see it. 
And while I'm over here, I might as well take care of this bad little bugger with my extremely high-powered pistol destroying a massive alien. Yeah. Oh, I got hit. Ah, such a noob. And this one too. This one also does not deserve to live. So we'll just blast him out. Die, worm. Get off of your planet. I am now colonizing the shipyard. Nothing over here, but we have discovered our first iron node. 8.6 mil, that's pretty tasty. Congratulations, self. Yes, sir, we are back at the base. That was quite the journey. I know there's a little bit of red we have not uncovered down there, but it's not a big deal. I'm not concerned. There's a body of water down there, so there may or may not be enemy bases down there. Uh, but just as a fail safe, we're going to toss a gun turret right over here. We'll, we'll toss a pair of them. Boop and boop. We'll toss some ammo in there. Half, which is control right click, and all, which is control click. Sick. Uh, the th next thing I want to do, and I told, I told everyone, I told myself that I'm not going to use any of my blueprints. So we're going to design a smelting array that compresses and produces and whatever uh, full belt. So it's, it's going to be really similar to what I've already done a million times, but <clears throat> we need 25 furnaces that 24 furnaces, sorry, which is a full belt. So this is 35. Wow, that's, that's a lot. 35, 24. So everything that way, control 24. All right. And then we also need a belt going this way going this way and I'm just going to pull this up really fast <sighs> actually you know what I'm gonna take a blueprint of it first just toss it there and then I'm gonna delete it you'll see why in a second here I'm gonna copy this put it here put that there and then this here can just be done like that all right sick uh, now we want to pull in from here and out to there and this here is going to be going all right let's look at the map really fast where we want this uh, i mean it makes sense to put it over here actually if we have a eastward but then we have this iron okay we have a east facing bus i like that east facing bus so if we take this and we go like this That'll do. Uh, input needs to be this side. Output needs to be this side. Take all of this. Put it here. That goes like that. So this is my input here. It's going to be taking a full belt of iron or in or copper ore or whatever. And as soon as it hits this balancer, it's going to split into two sides. This is the first side. This is the second side. So only the bottom half of this belt and the bottom half of this belt are going to have iron ore on them. And the top half, half of each belt is going to be empty, which we are going to put coal into. Like so. Which is fuel, obviously. So that's coal. Coal comes from here. Goes under this main belt here into the splitter half of it goes to feed this and the other half of it carries on so that makes this design tileable you can go like this put it here and as you can see these two undergrounds are connected which means the coal will continue yeah and we can save a little bit of space here and go like this um, now we need to copy this get some power poles in here one two three 
And we could probably save some space and do less power poles, but ah, I can't be bothered. And let's just double check. We have 48 in total, and we do. Another little thing I like to do is just delete the excess unneeded belts here. Turn those ones in. All right, sweet. That is our completed smelter setup. We can actually put it in game blueprints and name it Smelter E and just have a furnace as the picture. Sick. So we're going to toss that bad boy right here. Right here. And it's always nice to keep some room. Uh, we're going to blaze through some through some trees really quick. All right, those trees have been blazed. Now we can toss that. <clears throat> All right, so we can now, so we have iron, 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 iron. Uh, this is actually four compressed perfect belts of iron, uh, which we probably can't even get out of this. Ah, cause it's like 30 miners. So we're just gonna do two. And I like having a deconstruction planner right here. Yes, all right, that's all we're gonna do. Oh, one more golden uh, we now need to plan for 15 miners and they need to be power pulled every second one like so control copy so this is the basic BP we're gonna save it here call it uh, miners Super easy. Oh, I didn't even save it. Miners, done. Save. Okay. <coughs> I mean, I probably didn't need to do that. Because it's like a super easy blueprint to make in like one second. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. So used to playing Pyanodons. I have like a million reach. Well, the mod I was using within Pyanodons. Okay, so this will compress a belt. And we're just gonna drag it all the way across and then delete the parts we don't need. I like that idea. We're just gonna go like this. It's gonna look ugly for a minute, but I do believe in 100%, 100% saturation of a resource node. And that's why I also like to use ghosts because I don't have to build this and then fiddle around with it. You know, that kind of thing. Cool, and I can delete that and that, put that there. Actually, this is gonna need a power pole. Boop, just like that. So now I can run around and place some power poles first. That's the first thing you wanna do uh, because then you can drag the belts. So I'm gonna build what I can real fast here. And that's about what I can build. Uh, got should have a lot of belts here ready for me though. Oh yeah, 800. That's all right. I'll probably take those two undergrounds. Sickening. Let me finish building this real quick. All right, the belts and power poles have been completed. Uh, these little red lights indicate they are out of crap to mine. Which is fine. Uh, these are 15, these are 30s, 31 even, which is cool. And I'm just gonna extend these back because like I said, I am not a waster. I do not waste, unless I do. No, I don't waste. Wasting is not a thing I do. I don't waste. Waste not, want not. Mama always said that, right? Yes. No, that's... That's cringy. Go like that. Go like that. Oh. It's, it's, oh. Okay, almost. And this can go like that. Missing underground belt. I thought I just grabbed 50. Oh, I guess 50 is not very much. Let's go like that. Boop. Yeah, so this is not like resource efficient really in the way to build this, but it is space efficient. For early game, this is 
or less probably the most space efficient method of doing this. Come on, I need like two more undergrounds. But then I'm gonna need a buttload of undergrounds to actually build the miners. But we'll get to that. Ah, we'll get to that. Okay, this is built. Now I just need the actual miners. Uh, but the thing I wanna do is kind of refine this into approximate groups of 30, 54, uh, 26. So we're gonna go with all three of these into one belt. And, you know, I could balance it and, you know, do everything real beautiful. But I'm just gonna go like this for now. And I'm gonna put a little lane balancer here. So this here. Yeah. So this here, this little doohickey I built, uh, you can do it with a single belt coming in too. So all this does is take an input and divides it by two and puts it on either side. It puts half of the input and half half of the input <coughs> on each side of the belt, just ensuring that the belt is balanced within itself. Each lane of the belt is balanced. Uh, so this will be, I'm confident this will be more than saturated. And the way I like to do this is actually like this. Because I can pull this into here. Like so. And I don't need to build this all right now, but uh, this one here can be a belt on its own. And then we could put two more in there for iron. Boom and boom. And we'll just copy that, put that there like that. Ah! Go like so. And that's wrong. It needs to be down one, and this one needs to be down two. And these need to be copied up. This needs to be copied over. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So we're having ore coming in <coughs> right here. Uh, it's going onto these belts on the outside. It's getting put into the furnaces, and the output is coming down the center line right here. Four in, four out. It's a thing of beauty when dingleberries on duty. I don't know. Okay, this one here needs to come here, and this one here needs to come here. Uh, we do have room for a little bit more, but the thing is, there's 43 there. Uh, this is a very sparse resource node. 772,000 is not going to last very long, especially these upper ones here. They're pretty sparse. So these are going to be dried up quite quickly, believe you me, very quickly. Uh, and we can actually start pulling this apart. Don't like to waste, so we'll just, we're gonna reuse this kind of stuff, and I'll pull one more, all right. So we're gonna use these up there and start to move everything. This was just the beginner bootstrap to the bootstrap. This was literally like 1% of what I intend. Uh, tons of mining drills, lots of those. Might as well grab some magazines quick. Uh, we're gonna need a lot more ferni. Ferni. I know that ferni is not the plural of furnace, but it's just it's just silly and fun to say. So I say it because I like to think I'm silly and funny and fun. <laughs> uh, this this might screw up our power situation. Uh, I mean, it probably won't immediately, but this is gonna this is this is gonna be a little bit of a powerhouse. Oh, fail! Yeah, and the power poles here are built. So if I go like so, now that's all connected. I haven't built that obviously, and I should have put a power pole in here while I was down here. But yeah, all that's mining now. Let's see what the power did. Oh, it's instantly max. So we're going to stop this just for just for a quick sec. Because this is also going to produce some insane pollution. So once it's on, we need to build the smelting ray quickly. Uh, get literally another mall set up, another gear place, and you know. But it's going to be way bigger, and it's going to be 
Uh, not permanent, but it's going to be semi-permanent. Yeah. Power! Power! We need power. Okay, uh, so we're going to... We always double things. Uh, we're going to triple it this time, I think. I need boilers, which means I need iron, and I have no iron. I just, like, remove those things. Silly self. Uh, one, two. We want to double it for sure. And this is going to require more iron. Come on, iron. Come on, iron. Boop. One, two, three, one more. Just need some plates, none up there, come on, I'll take these ones. Three. And that's four. Yeah, alright, meet you over there. And we're here. Gotta always get used to doing this, peoples. If something's in the way of your blueprint, See when I press that, it says boilers in the way, which is because when I copied it, I have this little nub on it, this little pipe. Uh, you can press shift click and it'll just place it, it'll place it whatever it can place. It'll place whatever it can place. Yeah. Two pipes. And that was a misplace. Ah. Done. We have doubled power. Yeah. We can pump out 7.2 now. Uh, let's see these guys. They still have some to mine. Actually, some of these have dried up. Expected resources 1,000. This one's out. This one's out. These guys don't need to be in existence. Uh, but we can do is toss a couple over here. Boop, boop. 300. This is a pitifully sparse thing. Uh, and those don't need to... Yeah, okay, we're good. I can put this in here. Zip over here fast. Now what else? <clears throat> what do we need to do? We need... We got the power. So now we have this insane iron thing going on. Uh, which means we need insane furnaces. We have we have a good amount of furnaces pumping, so this should be decent. This is going to give us some pollution. We have some building blocks, we have some inserters, some power poles. Alright, we should be able to build most of one of these. Ah, but then we need to run coal over here. Not a big deal, we'll get coal. Yeah, I just I finished playing a Pyanodons run through recently. And... I also had a long reach mod installed, so like, obviously that means I could reach further. Yeah, like that's so short. I feel like the default reach limit in Factorio should be further, but ah, who am I to say s stuff about things? This one, this one, this one, oh, this one. Uh, okay, this is actually almost built already. Okay, we have our output done. Now we need inserters. Mm, done. Okay. While we're here, take this down. And that's all the inserters we got. Alright. Uh, now we need to run a god awful thing of coal. Probably all the way up and around and down. No big deal. Ain't nothing. Just run along the belt. Oh, it's so slow! Silly. If we were to plug this little ma mall here I have into something that actually puts out some decent resources. You watch out. Oh, look at that, I ended it perfectly already. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna pull these up. And obviously, I haven't been giving a dang about science lately. At all. Uh, we'll get to that sh very shortly. I mean, we don't really need science off the bat. Like,. I never understood why people do that, you know? You don't need to waste a ton of resources on researching 
like lights or steel. Like, why? We suck at the basic things right now. <clears throat> why unlock new things? Okay, we got coal coming out. Uh, let's finish this one input belt, at least, output belt, so we can have some product. And we're gonna do the same kind of thing for uh, copper. So we're gonna copy this. I know we will have to mirror it, but uh, we can at least get a feel for where it's gonna be. Let's copy this much. There we go. Yeah. So this is just me getting a feel for where these things are gonna go. Even though this stuff all needs to be mirrored, I know this. Uh, we're also gonna need a place for steel, a place for gears, circuits. Some people make gears locally, which is fine. I do for some things, but uh, gears on the spot are a, a good idea. So we're gonna design a quick little gear setup here. And it's going to be as follows. Because gears uh, take two iron plates and spit out one product. So we have two belts coming in. We can go like this, for example. Doesn't matter, let's change it up. I do things the same time a lot. So let's just change things up. Uh, we have two coming in. And then we have two coming out. And another mod I, I played with last playthrough is actually Bob's adjustable inserter. So I could pick an inserter, I could open this, the inventory of an inserter and it had different options because I would change one of these inserters to insert on the opposite side of this belt here. Because then you could have a flawlessly compressed belt uh, with by just doing that. Let's go like this. Is this going to be good? No, I need two power poles. That's all right. Yeah, so this is a tileable, tileable little iron setup here. Uh, it's gonna go like this, and this is the other iron input. Go like so. Oh. Yep. So that's that. And I like to prioritize everything in the line. <coughs> This also needs to be here, uh, here, and we're just going to build some of these power poles so they actually connect. Uh, we won't need to finish this, the rest of this for a while, but it's nice to put it down so you have some kind of plan. And, you know, some people would say like, oh, why didn't you just build this off the start? Because there's like, you know, there's lots of stuff going on here and I don't want to do the thing about that stuff so ah, one two and this one this one should be gears beep, 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 beep. it's always nice to have two spaces in between things so this is our little iron bus we got going on two spaces now we have some gears all right sick we've got some gears rolling it's already like way more than we've ever had okay <clears throat> next thing i want to build is circuits so we're gonna build a basic circuit thing uh, that's not what I want uh, if you if you look at the requirements of these these take in one iron plate and three copper cables and spit out on a circuit and this happens every 0.5 of a second so every 0.5 of a second we need three copper cables so how many machines of copper cables do we need to feed one of these? Well, what does one of these make? They make two every 0.5 seconds. So we need one and a half machines because we need three every 0.5 seconds. So three of these machines will perfectly feed two of those. So if we go like this, boop, 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 and just move this. Ah, what are we doing? Move this one right there. Ah, fail. Yeah. Yeah. So now this one here is pulling from both of those, and yeah, you get the point. Uh, this is going to be the copper input. Two of those, and we're actually going to need three inserters. And these are also going to need three inserters, which makes.
makes the power pulling very easy. Uh, and then we need iron coming in, which is this guy. And then we need the product coming out. And I'm going to do it like, actually I'm going to do it opposite. Iron coming in is here, products coming out is there. So you see the output inserter is going here, like so, ah, like this, and the iron coming in is like that. So this is a fairly common setup that people use. It's also tileable. Uh, so my output here is just going to be put onto one side of the belt, but I can actually take this, copy it, <coughs> flip it 180 degrees, and flip the belts around, and it's now a compressed belt. Uh, it's actually two belts, sorry. And if I go like that, it'll all even out. <coughs> so I should have made it here. You know what? Let's just cancel that. That's fine. That's fine right there. So we need iron coming in here and here, which is like so. And we need this is the output. So we're going to go like this. So this is the output of the circuits. This is our iron bus. Like so. Yep. Okay, now this needs to be powered. This won't do anything until we get copper rolling, but we can at least bring those down. This is the copper. People do these things differently, but I actually like using priority splitters. Just like that. Oops. Let's just copy it. Priority splitters. And those are going the wrong way. That's fine though. Uh, these belts are all backwards. That's how I do it. That's how I do it. And I mean, I could even do it here, but yeah, whatever. I also need to remedy this uh, so I could actually do something like. Actually, let's switch these around. The output should be like this. And the input should be like this. Yes. Uh, and now the output can be done like that. Output right there. All right. Now it'll ensure that there's uh, a lot going to the inside of the belt, giving these room. I shouldn't have put that in there. Giving these room to put their product on, and obviously still tileable. Yes. Still tileable. Yes. All right. This is tile level two. Put that there. It will just continue to make even more and more, 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 more. We're gonna go like so. Uh, we can use this space down here for stone, for example. And you know what, people? I think we've done enough in this episode. It's becoming lengthy already. So again, thanks for watching. Peace.